Brass Tax Presentation Discretion Advised When it comes to 4K, you want the fats? It's only one Brass Tax, baby. You already know. You already know. New viewers, welcome. I appreciate you watching day one subscribers. I appreciate all the support. We back. Now, over the last few weeks, I've given you various lists. 4K Blu-rays to avoid. Awesome 4K Blu-rays that's going to showcase your TV. Now, there are going to be plenty more of those lists in the future because those are only 10 and there are plenty more of those where that came from. But today, we're going to talk about movies that need the 4K treatment. Now, I had found a little over 50 titles, right? So I'm just doing 10 which I've handpicked, okay? They're going to be some obvious ones, some not so obvious. So if I haven't mentioned something you would have expected, doesn't mean I'm not going to mention it in the next video. Now there are going to be some of these discs which I feel will look amazing in 4K, but there are other titles here which I just love, that I would just love to see with a higher bit rate, with a higher resolution, a better Atmos track, and of course high dynamic range. Quite a few of these titles are favourites of mine, and it's not just because of the way they look, it's because I just love the movies. So let's just get on with it and talk about that shit. Seven. What's in the box? What's in the box? God damn. This movie was amazing. From start to finish, had that very dark vibe to it. I remember I skipped a day of school to watch this. I crept into the theatre, watched this, I loved it. And the ending, ugh. I mean, we already know. It's no point me really talking about this. You know this needs the 4K treatment. Much like Sicario, it's one of those movies you watch and you feel you just need to take a shower afterwards. Dirty. Nasty. Gritty. Can you imagine it in 4K? You might need to have two or three showers. Damn. And you already know the acting was superb. Kevin Spacey as well. Well, he done messed up a little bit in recent in the recent years, but shit. He was amazing in that movie and I just felt like no one saw that ending coming. Damn. And you know it's shot in a very dark way as well. So you'll need some amazing black levels. Amazing black levels. That with HDR. The colours would just look fantastic. Man, this, this, this needs the 4K treatment. 100%. Who's disagreeing with me here? Apocalypto. Wow. I think this is another movie I skipped school for. Can you imagine how good this is going to look in 4K? Can you imagine the jungle, the greenery, the colours, everything just popped on the Blu-ray? It would look amazing in 4K as well. And I thoroughly love this movie. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm not really big on subtitles, but uh, yeah, I was totally enthralled from start to finish with this movie. And you already know, this is a great, great movie. And with the 4K treatment, how green the leaves are going to look, you know, the trees... The tribe, the scenery, everything would just look A1. And I do remember the sound being very good in this. There was a lot going on. A lot going on. Can you imagine that on an Atmos track? It's got a lot of potential here to be a reference quality transfer. But I won't hold my breath because you never know. But this is one I definitely need in 4K. Speaking of 4K, we need Castaway. Tom Hanks. God damn. Love this movie. Every time this comes on cable, I watch it. Every time. I love it. Dude stranded on an island. Like, what? can you imagine? Nowadays, people probably just die because everyone's so reliant on technology, on their mobiles and everything. They're like, shit, I can't see my followers. I'm just going to kill myself. But this dude, you know, and, and it shows just how good of an actor he is because the most of the movie was just him by himself. Okay, he was talking to a football or something. But damn. You'll have to. You go crazy. If I was stuck with contacts, I'll be fine. But the scenery, the way it was shot, really good looking. The colours even popped on Blu-ray for me. And I just thought this, this could really do with the 4K treatment also. This would look amazing. Since we all love 4K, I'm sure we look at older Blu-rays and just think of some scenes which would just look fantastic in 4K. Just me mentioning Castaway, I can think of four or five scenes just off top that would look absolutely stunning. I need this, people. And on to the next one, Desperado, Antonio Banderas, Salma Hayek, I love this movie, this is one of my favourite movies of all time, I watched this the other day, just thinking to myself, damn I'd love some HDR on this, I'd love some added clarity, baby, Salma Hayek looks absolutely phenomenal in this, and you know, it's not the reason I want it in 4K, but let's just be honest, it's a big part, 
It's a big part. But I want to see the mariachi just shoot the shit out of everything. Can you imagine the gunfire with the Atmos track? God damn. And not only that, just the music in the background. I love the music. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this movie. And, you know, it may not look amazing in 4K. It may look better. But added clarity and detail is always a good thing. I can think of a couple of scenes where I would like to pause it and just see the extra definition. If you get what I'm saying. Fight Club. <laughs> I think this one's on everyone's list. I don't even know whether I need to explain why it should be here, but it needs it. One of the best movies ever made. And Brad Pitt, Edward Norton, an absolute classic movie. What just very much like Seven, very dark, very gritty, but also very colourful at the same time. I want to see what those rubber gloves look like with HDR on them. It is like, I need it. I need it. Another favourite of mine that could really do with the 4K treatment. And once again, just very much like 7, it needs the black levels to be on point. And it's actually been a while since I've watched it, but I do remember the sound being pretty good on that as well. And I'd love to see what an Atmos or a DTS-X sound can do to add to the movie. Because I always felt that this movie, as gritty as it was, was very atmospheric at the same time. And I would love the extra sound and the extra detail. We need it, people. We need it. This should have been one of the first 4Ks released. God damn. The Island. Ewan McGregor. Scarlett Johansson, baby. She looks A1 in this. That's not the reason I chose this, by the way. But let, let's not ignore how amazing she looks in this movie. Now, granted, this isn't going to look as good as the Blu-ray disc, but I have the iTunes HD digital version, and that looked pretty solid, but I, I just, I'm watching it, and I'm just thinking, man, I need some extra resolution on this. I need it. I need to see Scarlet jo I mean, I need to see the movie with extra detail. I, I thought it, the action was fantastic. The explosions were amazing, and, you know, I just, can you imagine with the HDR and the added color depth? how blinding some of the explosions and some of the action sequences are going to be couple that with an atmos track it would look spectacular this could be a reference quality disc it could be or it could be close it could be close but the cinematography was great and uh, you know shots of the island itself were great okay and i just think this really needs the 4k it really needs to be on 4k you know despite scarlett johansson being in it it needs to be in 4k forget the she in it I, that's not one of my main reasons but we need it in 4k people minority report another great movie with a great story and just looked amazing on blu-ray in my opinion and i really need that on 4k now in the back of my head i'm thinking that it's not it's going to be like an oblivion job now i you know i may be alone on this but i didn't think oblivion looked that much better than the 1080p i think it looked more or less the same i mean i was actually quite disappointed with the transfer yeah there was some added detail here and there but overall it didn't look that much different to me i think this may be the same but i'm hoping it isn't if this comes on 4k i need it you know and i could be wrong I could be wrong, but I have this on, once again, on iTunes Digital, right? And I'm pretty sure there was a moment in time where this was 4K on iTunes. It may be in the States, over here in the UK. I'm sure it was 4K for a brief amount of time, and then it went to HD. I hate that shit. Tell me if I'm wrong. Am I alone in this? I don't know, but I, I miss seeing it in 4K. I didn't even see it in 4K, but I think this would look really good. Now, there are some dream... It's got a dreamy kind of vibe to it, but irrespective of that, I really need it with the extra depth, the extra detail. It's one of those movies that I feel could look really, really nice in 4K, and I, I love that movie. So I think that needs the 4K treatment also. That's on the list. God damn it. No country for old men. You know when Javier Bardem has got uh, the funky hair? You know it's a bad day. You know shit's gonna get real. You know shit's gonna get serious when he's got some messed up hair. He had that hair in No Country. He had that hair in Skyfall, okay? Both those times, he was a big problem. Love this movie also. <laughs> <laughs> that whole coin toss conversation I still watch it every now and again they've got that scene on YouTube I play it back at least once a week I love that scene and just overall how scary is he I mean I thought also that that was a really good looking disc even in 1080p but I think it would benefit from a 4k transfer if that comes on 4k that's a day one pickup for me because I love that movie from start to finish Javier Bardem is just a psychopath 
and I love that. Like utter dread in that movie. True lies. I know everyone's with me. I know James Cameron's laughing at me because we didn't even get it in 1080p. Just got it on DVD. Bars. Not to mention Tia Carrera in that blue dress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Seducing Arnie on the plane shit. If I was Arnie, I would have been cheated already. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I have zero idea how this looks on HD because I've never seen it on HD. But guess what? I need it in 4K. There is a part of me that worries that if it ever does come on 4K, that it's gonna be DNR to death because Cameron always likes to, you know, fuck things up every now and again. We'll see. I'm going off Terminator. I'm going off Terminator 2 look terrible. Okay, don't DNR this. We need this on 4K. You know, it's about time. Don't forget forget bringing it on Blu-ray because that's past now. That ship has sailed. Okay, just give us one disc, 4K. Just put it in a case. Charge us 20 bucks. Charge us 30 bucks. Doesn't matter. Need true lies. Need it. Need it with the Atmos. Need it with all the detail and all the visuals. And finally, a more recent movie, Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> that's another one of my favorite, favorite movies. I need this. I need this in 4K because once again the 1080p looks stellar. It looks really, really good. Even upscaled slightly on my TV, it still looks great. But I need it on 4K and I need it on 4K for Margot Robbie and I need it on 4K for the movie itself. I want the best possible experience when watching it. I need it on Atmos or DTSX, whichever. Yeah, give me the HDR. Damn, Margot Robbie's in it. Put Dolby Vision in it as well. And HDR 10 Plus. Let's put that in there as well. Margot Robbie's in this. Gotta have all the formats. I love the colors in this. I already like the detail in the 1080p. And if that's just pushed up to 4K with, with the high dynamic range, with the wider color, everything's just gonna look superb. Superb. Margot Robbie's gonna look superb. DiCaprio's gonna look great. His acting's gonna be more impactful because of the added resolution. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna cater to the whole film. We need it. And to me, Wolf of Wall Street's just a classic. An absolute classic. I love it from start to finish. We need it, people. And there we have it, people. Those are 10 movies I've selected. I've still got another 40 or 50 to go. Okay, so there's going to be more lists. So just because I haven't mentioned something you were expecting doesn't mean it's not going to be in the next list, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is tell me uh, your top five or your top 10 movies that you want to see in 4K because they either A, you think they would, they would benefit from the 4K treatment or B, just because you love them so much and you want to see them in 4K. There's a difference. You let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you next time. Subscribe if you haven't already. 4K Rockstar, you already know.